everyone, welcome back to Six Sister Stuff. Today I'm sharing with you four extremely easy Instant Pot meals. So if you're new to the channel, welcome. My name is Kristen and every Monday I share an Instant Pot recipe with you. So if you're looking for simple, easy Instant Pot recipes, make sure to come by every Monday. So things are gonna be changing a little bit. Starting on November 1st, I'm going to be filming with my sisters. So I'm so excited to take this next step and the videos are gonna be a little bit different, but don't worry, they'll still be Instant Pot Monday. I won't forget about you guys. But first I'm gonna show you how to make these four extremely easy Instant Pot recipes. So the first recipe is my delicious, creamy macaroni and cheese. Now this is so easy because it only takes about 15 minutes, that's including it pressurizing. So if you're looking for something super simple and easy, you have to make this mac and cheese. Now with this recipe, push saute before you begin. Then you're gonna add four cups of water. Next you're gonna add four tablespoons of butter and you literally can just throw it right in there. Next is one pound or 16 ounces of macaroni. You can use any kind of macaroni, but I like the elbow macaroni. Then go ahead and add a half a teaspoon of salt right on top of everything. Now stir it up just a little bit so all the macaroni is covered by the water. Now you're just gonna put your lid on, seal it closed, and make sure it's on sealing, not venting. So for the timer on this, we're gonna push manual and then go all the way down to four minutes. Yep, you heard that right, four minutes for noodles. When it's done, you're gonna let it release on its own to five minutes. Then you're gonna go ahead and push it to venting. Now mine was foaming a little bit, so when that happens, go ahead and put a paper towel on it and then it won't spray all over your kitchen. When it's done releasing, you're just gonna go ahead and take the lid off. So when it's done cooking, you're gonna add the whipping cream. So you're gonna add about a cup. I didn't add a whole cup, but a cup is what the recipe calls for. Now I'm gonna add about two cups of cheddar cheese. Now if you like it really cheesy, you can add up to two and a half cups. Now for the seasoning. I'm gonna add just a little bit of garlic salt on top. Then I'm gonna add, it said about a half a teaspoon to a teaspoon of parsley, but I'm just gonna eyeball it. My kids don't like parsley very much, so I'm just using a tiny bit. All right, once all your ingredients are together, you are just going to mix it up. Now the one thing I love about this recipe is that you can make it how you like it. So my kids love to eat it with hot dogs. My husband loves bacon on it. I personally love avocados. Number two is our seven can taco soup. Now this is the recipe if you're just starting out this is the recipe you wanna make because it's literally seven cans of ingredients, you dump everything in and you cook it for only a few minutes. So if you need something simple or if you're just starting out, this taco soup is perfect for you. So first you're gonna start with one can of chicken and dump it right in. Then one can of pinto beans, one can of black beans. Now my beans have been rinsed and drained. Next is one can of corn, but don't drain that. You're gonna dump that right into your Instant Pot. Then we're gonna have one can of diced red tomatoes. Dump everything in, you don't wanna drain that either. And then one can of enchilada sauce. Now I usually use mild enchilada sauce because my kids don't like it spicy. Next we're gonna add two cups of chicken broth and I have a little helper. She really wanted to help. And then for the seasoning, you're gonna add either one packet of taco seasoning or about two to three tablespoons. However much seasoning you like, you can add a little bit more. Then you're just gonna take a spoon and mix it all together. Now you don't have to use canned chicken, you can use normal chicken breasts. Just make sure you cook it accordingly. If you use canned chicken, you're gonna cook it for four minutes on manual. If you have raw chicken, you're gonna go up to 15 minutes. Now, when I do freezer meals, I don't whip up a ton of them at one time. I make one recipe and then I make the same exact recipe and stick that in the freezer. So my trick is I like to use a water pitcher and put a plastic 
freezer bag just right inside of it. So I'll just do my same steps. A can of chicken, two cans of beans that are rinsed and drained. Then you're gonna add your can of corn, remember leave the juice in there, can of diced tomatoes, and then one can of your enchilada sauce. Now it's gonna get a little bit full, it will seep down just a little. Add your taco seasoning, and then you're gonna add your two cups of chicken broth. Now if you are making this meal to go in your slow cooker, you're gonna cook it for three to four hours on low. Now you can cook it frozen or thawed, it doesn't really matter. Now once all my ingredients are in there, I'm going to slowly wiggle it out and zip it up. Now before I put it in my freezer, I'm gonna mix it a little bit, then take out any excess air that I possibly can get out of there. Now I like to store my freezer meals so they will lay flat and then I can stack them on top of each other. But if you wanna freeze it so it will fit inside of an Instant Pot, Put it back inside your pitcher and go ahead and freeze it just like that inside your freezer. All right, my soup is done cooking. I did a quick release just to make it a little bit faster and then I mix it up. I like to serve this with sour cream, cheese, green onions, pretty much everything you have on tacos, that's what you can put on top of this. Number three, now this is, we're going a little bit healthier because Sometimes I like to eat a little healthier, and this one's called my healthy chicken and potato soup. So you're gonna throw everything in, of course, I love the dump and go recipes, and you're gonna cook it, shred the chicken, and serve. All right, so I'm gonna start out with my Instant Pot, but you can do the same exact recipe in your slow cooker. So I have three large potatoes here that I'm chopping up. I'm keeping the skin on because it's one less step for me to do. Next, I'm gonna take three chicken breasts. Now, these ones are frozen, so I'm gonna show you how to do frozen chicken breasts in the Instant Pot. So I always be sure my chicken is on the bottom of my Instant Pot. Now I'm gonna add my vegetables on top, so I'm just gonna pour in my potatoes. Next, I'm just gonna take a small bag of baby carrots, open it up, and dump them in. So I love onion when I'm making a healthy soup. So I'm going to chop up my onion, not in the tiniest pieces, I kind of like bigger chunks. So once I chop them up, then I'll just throw it right on top of the carrots. So for my seasonings, I added a half teaspoon of garlic salt and a half teaspoon of rosemary. So now it's time for the broth. You're gonna add eight cups of chicken broth. Now I know that sounds like a lot, but it's actually just enough to cover the vegetables. So if you're making this in your Instant Pot, go ahead and just put it right inside. If you're making it in your slow cooker, same thing. Take your pot, put it right inside of your slow cooker. So back to the Instant Pot, I put the lid on and I'm making sure that it is going to be on sealing, not venting, you want it on sealing. Then you're gonna push your meat or stew button and go up to 25 minutes in your Instant Pot. If you're in the slow cooker, you wanna do it for six to eight hours on low. So I let the pressure release on its own. So instead of bumping it over to venting, I let it sit there for about 20 minutes while the pressure went down and then I can open the lid. So now I'm just finding the chicken, which I was gonna pull it out and put it on that plate, but it just is so soft, it just keeps shredding. So I'm actually gonna shred it right inside of my Instant Pot pot. Now this recipe is perfect for meal prep because it makes a lot. So now before I serve my family or myself, I'm going to grab these awesome meal prep containers, fill it full of about two scoops of my soup, and then put it in my refrigerator for later so I can have a healthy recipe throughout the week. Now if you're just making this for one or two of you, the great thing is you can put it in a Ziploc bag and then freeze it so you can have it whenever you want another healthy meal. But for now, I'm just gonna scoop myself some up right now and eat it for lunch. And the last one is my mom's Instant Pot Stew. Now making stew is so easy in the Instant Pot. It doesn't have to, it doesn't have to cook all day. It only takes a few minutes. So if you want an easy recipe, Instant Pot Stew is the thing to make. Here are all the ingredients you will need. So I'm gonna start off with the celery. I have three stalks of celery or one cup that I just chopped up, one cup or one whole onion chopped up, four or five small red potatoes, then we have one pound of carrots, I just did a bag, one cup of frozen peas, now one or two cups of beef broth. The recipe doesn't call for Lipton onion soup mix, but I love it. Then you have one tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce, 
and salt and pepper to taste. Woo, that's it. Okay, so I'm gonna start by adding my meat to the bottom of my Instant Pot. Then just, you're gonna add everything on top. So I add my celery, my potatoes, my onions. I did all my big things first. So next I'm gonna add my carrots right on top and then my peas are gonna go right on top of the carrots. Now as you can see, I'm getting pretty close to my fill line, so I'm gonna try and spread it down as much as I possibly can. Then I'm adding two cups of beef broth, just because I want a little more liquid in there so it will pressurize a little bit better. Because this Instant Pot is full to the brim. Next I'm gonna add one tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce, the recipe actually calls for one teaspoon, but I love Worcestershire sauce, so I'm doing one tablespoon. All right, and then you're gonna add your Lipton onion soup mix right on top. I probably should have added that before I added my beef broth, but that's okay. So I'm just gonna put my salt and pepper on top too. You can add more when it's done cooking, but I just added a little. Okay, now I'm just gonna mix in my seasonings a little bit. You don't have to get too crazy because it will all pressurize. Okay, I kind of made sure everything was flat so the lid would go on. Make sure it's on sealing, not venting. I'm gonna go manual all the way up to 30 minutes. Now, I did a quick release because we were starving, but you could let it release on its own if you wanted. Now I'm going to take the lid off and you'll see just how amazing this stew looks. It smells so good. Now growing up, I don't know about you guys, but we always put ketchup on top of our stew and I still love it with ketchup today. Now if you haven't joined the Instant Pot Recipes Facebook group, it's a great community there. If you have any Instant Pot questions, everyone in there is so kind and so helpful. It's a great group. Anyways, don't forget to subscribe and push that little bell and I'll see you next Monday for another Instant Pot Monday. Alright guys, see you later. Bye.